This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. This past October, I had a chance to visit Fort Ord Natural Reserve in Monterey County. For most of the 20th century, Fort Ord was used as an army base. 600 acres of the site are now part of the University of California Natural Reserve System. Scientists and students come here to research its unusual maritime chaparral habitat. We like to live in maritime chaparral, and so they're all gone. And so the 600 acres that we have here is very unique in the Natural Reserve System for sure, and then it's a, it's a unique habitat type. And so that's why, even though it's, a, you know, it's not a big creek or a big you know, expansive reserve, it is protecting a very unique habitat type that is very rare now because of the building and, and, and development over time. That's Gage Dayton, director of the four University of California Santa Cruz natural reserve sites. Gage is an ecologist. He spent a lot of time at Fort Ord and can tell what its residents have been up to by literally reading the trees and bushes. The device he's standing next to measures fog moisture at the reserve. It took Gage less than five minutes to come across our first evidence of wildlife. Scattered all over the ground were piles of round black pellets. The area was being used as a latrine by deer. After a few more minutes of wandering, he found a tunnel chewed into the sand mat manzanita. This hole was probably made by a rabbit. Like just about all of the other plants at the reserve, the stands of coast live oak look surprisingly small. Their growth may be stunted by the lack of nutrients in the sandy soil. Beneath almost every grove of oaks is a wood rat nest or two. These look like piles of leaves, twigs, and grasses, but can sometimes contain tinfoil, rocks, and other shiny objects that caught the owner's eye. The western fence lizard, commonly known as the blue belly, can be seen all over the reserve. Their blood is toxic to the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Infected ticks that feed on fence lizards come away cleansed of the pathogen. Gage then noticed some divots in the grass lining the trail. He knew right away what we had just seen. Skunk tracks. I think they dig the grass. Right above them were oaks laden with ripe acorns. He picked an acorn off the tree and turned it over. It had this hole drilled into its side. I think they're called acorn weevils. This time of year, the, the adult flies and she inserts her, she bores a hole in the acorn and then puts her egg in there and then the larva develops in there and it starts eating the acorn. And then the acorn falls and when, it, when the acorn hits the ground, the, the larvae realize that and they climb out and then they go into the ground and they build a little earthen you know, cocoon. He cut the acorn open and lo and behold, there was a larva inside. But I bet what's happening is the acorns are falling off and these, these weevils, acorn weevils, are going into the ground and the skunks are digging them up. The young weevils that escape skunks and other predators will grow into adults that look like this. And come next fall, their offspring should be growing inside acorns all over the reserve. 